Hey guys, I have another trick tip video by request this week. This one is going to be for kickbacks. This was requested by Chris Lee. Thank you for the request. And what a kickback is, is basically when you are on your board and you use your toe to flip your board upside down and then do like a one and a half flip back. And Chris also requested that this be a moving freestyle trick. And I'm actually not, I don't do kickbacks that much. So I'm gonna be working through this a little bit today and sharing some of the tips that I use and some of the hacks I find with you guys so that it helps you guys learn it as well. So to set up for this trick, uh, first you want to be standing still to learn this trick. I, I find it, it's a lot easier standing still. And I kind of have my feet close together, not really at all in an ollie position, but kind of in its own unique position. I have my front foot with my heel hanging off the side there, and my back foot's basically on the board. The back foot, you know, I've kind of been playing around with different positions. Right now I like my back foot right here. Try a couple of different foot positions yourself though and see what works out best for you. I like to have the front foot below the bolts though. That way when I flip it, it's kind of in the middle of the board and that'll help it stay straighter and not kind of go off to the side and get a good flip on it. So first thing you're gonna do is crouch down and as you start to jump up, you're gonna take your back foot up first a little bit and you're gonna push down on your toes with your front foot and you're gonna push down pretty hard so that the board naturally starts to flip in this direction. As soon as it starts to flip, you're basically gonna take that front foot that was pushing down and flick it up really fast. So let's try this out. And you'll probably miss it a couple times like that or not get a full flip. And it's kind of hard to like stay above it. Um, I find myself kind of going off to the side sometimes or too far back, too far forward. <laughs> yeah, it's really tricky to get that. So what am I doing wrong here? So I'm going down and I'm not pushing down enough because it's not rolling over. And that way, that's why when I push down, I'm not flicking it on the way back up. So what can I do to make sure I flip it more? Let me, I'm gonna hang my toes off a little bit, see if this helps. Because maybe that'll help me like wrap it that way. Let's try that. Okay, that might have helped a little bit. Better. All right, so I think that helped out a little bit actually, just hanging my, my toes off a little bit. Another important thing is I'm keeping my shoulders in line and kind of parallel with the board. If I'm too far over one way or another, I'll either fall too far forward or too far back. So let's try this a couple more times.
Okay, I clearly need some work on these still. A couple things that I keep making mistakes on is landing too far forward. So like falling forward like that and not getting enough of a flip. I think just if I keep practicing, that will help me get a better feel for how my foot position and how I need to move my body in order to make this more consistent and be more aware of what I'm doing and how it impacts how the board flips. But I think I'm doing it consistent enough to at least try moving a few times and let's see what, what changes with this trick when we start moving with it. Okay. So, felt pretty similar to how I've been doing it stationary. It's just kind of, something's different about moving, obviously. Um, <laughs> let's try another one. Sketchy. All right, I'm gonna set the GoPro down and do a couple that aren't filmed from first person point of view. Okay, that took a bit longer than I was expecting, but that means I need a lot of work on these, especially the moving ones. So in terms of practicing, after, after trying for a while at getting a moving one that was pretty good, I found that the most helpful thing again was when I remembered to hang my back foot toes off a little bit so that I can try and wrap, I'm almost wrapping my toes around the board this way to help it flip and actually moving this front foot towards the middle of the board. I had it up here at the beginning and it was a lot harder for me to get it. Once I moved it down here, it was helping me get a little bit more consistent with it. So I think that's gonna be it for this trick tip on kickbacks. I need to work on them some more, but We'll all be working on them together. If you have any more tips, feel free to leave those in the comments as well as any suggestions for more trick tip videos. I hope this helped and good luck and have fun.